Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm organising myself and preparing for my year 11 mock exams. So if you're new to my channel or you didn't know, I'm in year 11 and I'm doing my GCSEs this year. So I'm doing my year 11 mocks, which are basically mocks for your GCSEs in two weeks time. So they start on the 4th of February which is very close. In fact, it's less than two weeks now, so slightly terrified. I thought that I would film this video to show you how I've been preparing and organising myself and all my subjects for these exams, because obviously if this is a bit too late and you've already done your mocks, then it won't help. But if you've got your GCSEs coming up this year or you've got other exams coming up this year, then you can definitely take these tips on board and use them. And I hope that it does help you stay a little bit more organised. So at the beginning of year 11, I ordered a load of these notebooks on Amazon for each of my different subjects. So these are what they look like. I basically got one of these books for each of my different subjects so that I can keep my notes a lot more organised and it's very helpful, I do recommend it. So I have one of these for chemistry, biology and physics. And then I also picked up two square ones because these are actually... So they're literally the same style notebook, just a grid, and these are really good for maths revision, so I got two of them. And then I also got these ones, which are like colourful ones, for subjects where I'm not going to be necessarily ripping the pages out, but using it as like a textbook. So this is my English notebook, and I actually really like it. In the front cover, I've basically got the contents of all the exams and I find this really useful as well. Um, and then I started with Blood Brothers and making character pages for each one. And then there's also the same for A Christmas Carol. And then I also have one for History. Let me find a good page to show you. So this is just an example of the history notes that I make. So I actually really like this page. I think it looks cool. Um, yeah and then I also have this one which is for geography and um, yeah there's like a bunch of different pages of notes in there so I find it really useful to have a separate notebook for each subject rather than just using a pack of paper because it helps to keep you so organized and you know where everything is and it separates all your subjects so I definitely recommend doing that if you don't already so as well as having a notebook for each subject, I also have a folder for each subject and in the folder I'll have the specification, any worksheets from any of my classes and if I'm ripping the notes out of my notebook then I can store them in the folder. This is my science folder, it's a big one because it has all three sciences in. So one thing that I really recommend doing is printing off your specification for any of your subjects that you feel it might be useful for. So far I've only done maths and science because I think that those will be beneficial to me but by all means you can print all of them if you find it easy. So the first thing in the specification is just tips for the types of exams. Then I have this folder divider which separates the first third of my science folder which is biology. At the beginning I've got my specification and I've just highlighted all of the different topics so that's the whole biology specification as you can see it is quite long because it's very detailed and then i have a plastic wallet with previous tests like end of topic tests i keep them all in this folder because then i can go back to them and look at questions that may come up in future exams move on to my notes so these are all of the notes basically let me find an example So the first topic on the biology revision list was key concepts in biology. So then I would go through, write all the notes on them and then tear the pages out of the notebook and put it into a plastic wallet. So then each topic is separate rather than having them all together. And I find that that is really useful because then you can decide, oh, I want to revise key concepts in biology and you can find it a lot easier. And then I basically have the same for chemistry and physics. So I'll show you anyway. So specification that's still specification it's really long actually topic tests all of the notes which are not done yet but it's fine and then physics there's the physics specification and i haven't actually started my physics notes yet but there's some tests um this is history and this folder is from ryman it's like 
light blue it's very pretty actually so then at the beginning of my history folder i don't have the specification just because i don't really think it's necessary for me I, um these are all the notes i've done so far and then at the back i've got notes from previous exams and i find that in history mind maps really help once i've written my notes i'll do like mind maps from memory so i've basically got those just filed in the back and then i also have some practice questions that i've done previously which i've kept and yeah that's actually all that's in my history folder because i haven't done a lot i'll be honest next up we have maths i found that i didn't really know how to organize myself for maths until very recently and yeah i'm going to share that with you now so this folder is a lilac -y color it's really cute actually and it is from wilco so at the beginning of this folder i've got my specification for my mocks and this is what my teacher at school gave us so i've highlighted it on things that i don't know things that i'm okay with and things that i am absolutely fine with um, and then at the beginning, I've got my previous test papers that I basically did for science as well. Next that we have the specification, which, as I said, I did find really useful to print out. So yeah. I have this past paper, which I printed out when I was doing other exams and I didn't get around to using. But I find math past papers are the best way to revise for maths. So every time I print one out, I just put it in the folder. And then at the back, I've got some notes from previous tests and we have my english folder so it just looks like this it's from a shop called blocked i got this in like year six so I, i'm pretty sure that shop closed down actually so first thing that we have in here is actually a little mark scheme thing that i had for a previous test which is obviously quite useful to have i've got my macbeth revision notes workbook that my teacher gave us and then i have a load of worksheets that we were given in class just because it's a lot easier to keep them in a folder at the back i've got all my english language practice papers yeah that we've done in class it's really useful to have them all because you can obviously see how you're improving and also have a look at the questions if you want to use them so the next folder i'm going to be showing you is my french folder so this is also from ryman it's just the gray one french is definitely the most difficult subject to keep yourself organized for because there is so much like this is really full so at the beginning i found that it was really useful to write myself a contents page of everything in the exams because to be honest sometimes when there's multiple exams for each subject it's really difficult to work out what what content is needed for what exams that's just right at the front of my folder so i can see it then this is all homework in this plastic wallet then i have practice papers just general vocabulary for french is at the front then we move on to the different modules so each one looks like this it has a folder divider and then just a little contents page of what is in the module and then at the back, I have all of my French speaking materials. So I've got mark schemes, stuff that I've used in previous exams, vocab, everything. So that's how I organise my French folder. I have this little unit in my bedroom where I store all of my notebooks, school books, folders and textbooks. And I find it's very useful to have those. I found out the date for my exams well in advance. And if you are able to do that, find out when your exams are going to be as soon as you can, then you can start revising. This is my tip. It's never too early to start revising. If your exams are coming up in a month, start then. And I find that that's been so helpful because it means that I've got so much done already. And I've, I've, oh, wait, what? And it means that you can just space it out rather than cramming it all in and burning yourself out. And yeah, obviously good luck if any of you have any exams. I know everyone in my year at school will obviously have mocks the same time as me. So good luck and I hope you do really, really well. And I think that's the end of today's video. I don't think I have anything else to say. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that it did help even just a tiny bit to help you get a little bit more organised. Let me know any other revision or study related content that you want to see, any more tips ask me any questions to anything and yeah